<laughs> I've only gone and hooked some in. I reckon it's a pike. Oh no, it's a lovely perch. Oh, it's a lovely perch. Good double, I think. Ah, oh, no, you get me wet on the old Neddy, Ned. Welcome back to uh, another video. I'm out on the Thames um, after a perch. Let's see what I can get. This is what you call one cold day. Everything's frozen, got the rod out. Um, I'm fishing the big elf today, or the longer one. And fixing fish in a Carolina rig. But, ah, oh, it's so cold. Wait for that sun to warm me up. Just got this little bit of slack down here. Give me that go. Wish me luck. This is a good little spot, right in the town. Um, when the river's flooded, you've got this big slack edge. Sometimes you find a fish or two chilling in the slack. You right, buddy? <laughs> Hopefully. There's, no, there's normally perch and pike in here. Yeah. Only small ones. Only small ones. Huh? Yeah. But perch? today is a bit hard where it's so yeah. cold. They'll be sat on the bottom, not moving. So I have to put it right on their face. <laughs> The battle is like the eyes keep freezing. Is ice all in there? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you always used to get the odd fish down here. Maybe a little chub, maybe a perch. Fishing a bit big really for you, but it's what it is. A small perch will grab that sort of quarter of a sinker, uh, half a sinker one, three quarters of it, whatever it is. I'm just fishing it on a Carolina rig. sums up fishing today. This is pretty out I suppose. I've only gone and hooked some in. I reckon it's a pike. Oh no it's a lovely perch. Oh it's a lovely perch. That odd 
this hard work, freezing cold day. Oh, it's not quite as big as I thought. But it's a perch. I love, it's a nice river perch. I'm going to keep saying lovely now. Yay! <laughs> Gorgeous fish. I'm gonna get wet. Cracking river perch on a little Suranoi creature bait. Beauty. Just gonna get a release. So um, that's the creature bait I just have that perch on. A couple of little antennas, fishing it on a weedless hook. Um, about a foot of, I can't remember if it's six or eight pound ferrocarbon. Swivel and a little tungsten, tungsten Texas weight. It's about, I think that's a three and a half gram. So fishing light. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to say that water's bloody freezing. <laughs> My hands are instantly numb. So I'm just dragging this um, crawl creature bait, whatever, fishing on a Carolina rig, dragging it along the bottom as slow as I can. that fish just clamped onto it, it was almost, it's almost like hooking a bit of weed, you could hardly feel the bite. Um, when it's real cold like this, um, you'll find the fish just lethargic as hell. But if you get that lure right in front of their face, they will grab it. That's made my day. Made it worth it, all the struggle. I was saying to myself, I'm coming out for one fish. Because it's on a day like this, you know, it's not gonna be a blinding day. But I got my got my one fish. Obviously I'm stubborn as hell, so I'm gonna carry on fishing, fishing hard. Maybe I'll pick up another fish. So, um, I just worked out um, why that perch was sat there, feeling around on the bottom with the um, Carolina rig, with the tungsten weight, most importantly. Um, there's a log or stick slayed sideways across the current and um, where I hooked that perch was just behind the log so he's, he's, he's sat there I'm pretty sure it's just a singular fish because I fished it quite hard now but he's sat just behind the log the current running over his head and that um, that uh, creature bait must have just drifted over the log into his face and he just yammed it it's when you um when you've got a good feel for your rod and your setup it's, it's really um it's really good especially with tungsten um you can feel around you can pick out or at least i can um i can pick out like the shape of objects that are on the bottom yeah good real good idea of what they are but, um nice after hooking that fish to then feel around and feel this log it's nice to have a good um, reason at least in my head why there's a fish sat there and why I haven't had another bite because I reckon it's just a small small log probably three foot long maybe something like that's what it feels like just enough room for that fish to sit behind and ambush anything drifting over his head in the current
what I'm doing is I found a chair. I'm just trying to fish on this wall now. Um, just because there's a minimal current. And cast, cast up, up to that bridge. Fish this current crease and see if there isn't uh, fish roving around in that sort of slack a bit. River's trying to claim the footpath. I don't know banks dropped there. It's definitely um, tough finding slack bits and even tougher finding fish in them. That makes it fun though. Well, these guys want to be careful. That's actually the bank that boat's on. And the water drops, the um, boat will get stuck on the bank and can roll over. I've got it wedged with a bit of wood, but it's a bit further out than that. You can almost, yeah, you can see it there. Just here, just that line just there is the bank. So, um, be really careful that doesn't roll over. Damn. You wouldn't want to do that drunk, walk the plank, you might plop in. Oh no! No! I don't have any wellies! This guy's got a cool camper. I tell his camper and solar panels on the roof. You've got a little kitty inside. <laughs> it's supposed to be a field, not a lake. As far as you can see, it's water. <laughs> Damn. River's not got too far to go to reach them flood marks. Damn. This is the top stream, top side. That's the bottom side. Maybe two foot, two, three foot. Towards the same level. My goggles are still on this wire. I hooked them in the wheel pool years ago, and I hung them on the wire. Yeah. Big log in there. Pigeon just trying to land on a rod. I thought I'd return full circle with my mission today and I just spooked something down here. I don't have a clue what it was. Well, I don't know if I even spooked it. It's, a big, it's either a big fish, maybe an otter. I don't see any bubbles though. So. One might be a fish. What on earth is that? Just took this nice pike on the bridge.
could double, I think. <laughs> what about that? That um drop shot just in the top of his mouth. Pop out nice and easy if I can get a grip of it. Cracking fish. <laughs> With the pikes. That's right under us. Ah, no, you get to me wet on the old neddy, ned. It's a pike kind of day, I think. Look at that, right in the corner. Ow, sharp. Bite. Bite. It's a bird! Birches. Birchy. Put it in backpack. Put it in back bag like on the Put it in boot. Not go fish! <laughs> <laughs> Look how washed out the colour is to that fish. Come on, little fella. I was just saying how washed out the colour is for that fish where um, the river's been in flood for so long it's gone real pale <laughs> Shad's work Good spot too Tiny little fella Good fun on this absolute brutal, windy, massively flooded river Oh and it smells gorgeous Good old Smelly noodle fish. <laughs> I am um, just fishing one of them shads weedless. One of my shads weedless with ah, uh, I don't know. I think it's only about two or three gram bit of lead on there. It's real shallow in this little bit. There you go. Hopefully there'll be a perch or two around here. Well, I um, hope you enjoyed today. I thought I was going to be fishing for that one fish. Sorry, I thought I was going to be fishing for that one fish. And um, yeah, turns out like what I was. But better than a blank, eh? Um, I don't know how much more, f how much fishing I'm gonna get him in, in the um, coming few weeks because the river's in such a state. But I'll try my best. Um, and uh, well, you'll catch me in the next one. Bye.